my gosh, that happened so quickly. This is awesome. Hello everyone, it's Deli here and welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at The Sims 4 Tiny Living Stuff. And this is the latest stuff pack coming to The Sims 4. Thank you to EA for sending me a early copy to show you guys and yeah i just uh i'm just very excited for this pack because i've been building tiny houses here on youtube for quite some time and now i've got some extra things to put into my tiny houses so let's check it out uh we're just gonna do the usual review it says welcome to the sims 4 tiny living stuff build your small space downsize your sims dwellings with this brand new residential lot that provides fun size challenges and unique benefits to your sims when they meet the tiny home requirements okay so fun size challenges now i actually haven't watched the live stream about this pack yet so this is me seeing it for the first time um, but I believe you can select tiny home as a residential lot we'll check it out soon and then you have to build within a certain size of tiles you're using so we'll check that out later maximize your mini make the most out of your sim space with the Murphy bed combo which you can die from yay this medium-sized furniture combo comes with a two-seat love seat attached to a large storage compartment keep it cozy customize your sims tiny homes with a space saving combo object like the all in one stereo TV and bookshelf and sleek furniture with a bop of color. Stay snug in style. Outfit your Sims in comfy new creator Sim items like a dress shirt or a turtleneck that represent their low key lifestyle. <gasps> I'm so excited for this because usually I watch the live stream, so I kind of have already seen all the creator Sim assets. I didn't watch this one, so wow. Let's call it Tina <laughs> Diney. Cause it's like teeny tiny, get it? <laughs> okay, what have we got here? What have we got? Ooh, okay. So first up, we've got this uh, plaited hairdo. Let's see it. Whoa, what's with the hair colors? I'm very confused by the hair swatches right now. They're like all out of order. I'm so confused. Uh, but this is like a nice braided hairdo, fringe combo, very nice. We've got the usual colors. Uh, I do wish the fringes were a little bit more wispy looking. They're very blocky. So I typically don't like the fringe hairstyles that much. Apart from that, I like the plait a lot. And then we've got this hairstyle, which is really nice. Obviously this is gonna work really well on guys too, or females, Annie Sim you have this is yeah this actually really suits her then we've got this kind of curly updo oh that's sweet that's really cute actually we don't have a hairstyle like this and I quite like um you know the soft waves and curls over here that's being really nicely done as it gets twirled into that little bun that is like the perfect bun that I try and do in my hair every day and we have uh this curly hairdo so another curly one which is good to see there's been a lot of folks asking for more curly hairdos so that is that's really nice nice and if we take off the feminine, feminine mum mum, uh, what else do we have here? Okay, that, that is all the hairstyles. That is all the hairstyles we got. Okay, so we do have some new accessories as well. I did see one of the gurus uh, showing off these earrings. I would like to see more simple jewelry options. And we also have a matching necklace as well. Again, I'd rather more simple options. Still funky though. Looks really good on this sim. And then we do have a pair of glasses, which is really exciting because we haven't had glasses for a while. And I like that they're see-through. So that's fun. We haven't had a, a pair of see-through glasses before. It would have been nice to have the actual lenses, maybe a couple of different colors, like this light pink on the lenses and the rest of the glasses would have been really nice. Actually, pretty much exactly like this. Yeah, more pink in the middle, but hey, this is these are really, really nice. And again, I always like to see a plain black and white swatch, which they haven't done. Uh, so that's a bit of a shame. And that's the same for the masculine as well. Okay, and no new hats. Let's check out the clothes. I don't believe there's any new aspirations or um, traits. I mean, I'm not seeing any. Let's check out the clothes. Okay, so keeping with the tiny theme, we're thinking cozy, comfortable clothes. And I love this turtleneck. I love this uh, texture work they've done on it as well. It's definitely looking a lot more realistic than I think it was the turtleneck in university. This one's just been made um, in a much nicer and more high quality way, in my opinion. So this is looking really, really nice. Love it. Then we've got this uh, lumpy sweater. This is very cute. I wonder if this could be tucked in. Probably not, but I immediately want to tuck it into a skirt. We've got like a denim jacket, stripy top, like super simple, but nice cozy clothes. Then there's this top, which I'm just not 
personally a fan of this one. Like this is obviously a different kind of top line that I'm not really into, but hey, a lot of players will probably really like it. The other thing I really dislike is how the buttons warp and change sizes depending on how your Sims body is moved around. So I really prefer that they just stay away from any detailing like buttons, uh, especially around the bust area. And then we've got a gorgeous skirt here. I'm just gonna take off these shoes and stockings. This is so cute. I love this. Oh, uh, I feel like I'm gonna use this skirt a lot and I like that it's over the belly button as well. So it's a little bit higher up. And do these kind of go? I mean, you could kind of wear those together, I guess. I wouldn't say they are made to go together though. I mean, they look, they look decent together. That's no bad outfit. And then there's also these pants, which we saw a lot of on like Twitter and stuff. You can see the top of the pants and they look really, really nice. They're really nicely made, super cute. I definitely see myself using these pants a lot and some really nice color swatches too. Like we've got some nice muted colors and you've got some bright colors. It's a nice balance. And then in terms of full outfits, we have this dress, which I really, really love. Just that dress you throw on maybe on a hot day just to lounge around in or walk down to the shops in. So yeah, I really love this. This is awesome. And then we have these, which is great. Some comfy looking gym jams, which we actually don't have many pajama options. So this is really, really nice to see. And there's some nice experimental patterns as well, which are, which are a little bit different. Oh my gosh, look at the panda. That is so cute. I really, really like this. No new shoes, no new accessories, but that's that's pretty pretty good. I mean, remember, this is a stuff pack. This isn't a game pack. This isn't an expansion pack. This is a stuff pack. So we're just getting a little bit of stuff for our games. Let's uh, go to the male clothing options and see what we got. So, oh, love this. This is very dad, um, but it could also be kind of more hipster, you know. It depends on how you style it, I guess, but I love this. Love it, love it, love it. We don't have anything like it in the game. It's beautiful. This might be another case of me liking the guys' clothes more than the girls' clothes. Love that asymmetrical button as well. Really nice. Oh my gosh, I love this too. I do wish that it was longer though. They're so stuck in the way of always doing these short tops and I'm just like, please lengthen them. But I really like this shirt. I just wish it went lower. Like a little nice curved hem or something there. Uh, oh, here we go. This is a longer jacket. That's good. Ooh, okay. Yeah, this is this is nice. This is nice. Beautiful color swatches as well. Cardigan. Uh, I think it was Sim Guru Ninja who worked on this pack. And he's kind of, I feel like he's a cardi kind of guy. So I wouldn't be surprised if he was like, can we get a guy's cardigan into this pack? Thanks. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's super nice. And see how it's just a little bit longer, you know, just that bit of length is good. Um, and then this is really cute as well. You've got a higher neck top there. Looks very cozy, very warm, very nice. Uh, so this is looking, this is looking really good. In terms of pants, we have the same pants that we had for the females. Um, bit of lag there in my game. This is nice. I'm gonna take away these shoes. So we've got the pants we saw before, fitted uh, for the gentleman. And then we've got these pants too, which look like really comfy, round the house pants. He got a flat booty. There we go. So yeah, they're really, really nice, comfy looking pants. How nice. And then we also have the pajamas. The pajamas, pajamas for boys too. Love it. Any new accessories? No. And I'll just double check the accessories over here. Same glasses. I do really wish they had black frames. You just always want the black and white option, like solid black, not see-through black. Uh, and no new facial hair. I'll double check for tattoos. Yeah, these are all uni. I don't think there's any tiny living. I don't know why all of these packs I've looked at before have been starred again. Ooh! We have a nice curly hairdo for kids. So it looks like the adult one appropriated for kids, which I love. Let's take away the masculine. And yeah, we also have the two feminine ones. There we go. Oh, that's actually really cute for kids. And the curly hair, aw. No new hats or accessories by the looks of things. Uh, no new clothes for kids, so it's just a focus on the adults, but they did allow the kids to have hairstyles. And we'll just double check toddlers. Oh my gosh, all of these hairs are also available for toddlers too. Look at that. So that's really fantastic that they're now just making it for all age groups. I really, really appreciate and love that. <laughs> 
that that is just too precious. And I doubt there's any new like toddler outfits. Okay, so that's pretty good. Okay, so jumping into build mode to have a look at the furniture and the new um, type. If we go to traits, I'm pretty sure there's like a tiny home trait. Oh wait, no, lot type. Tiny home residential. You need at least four place tiles. You currently have zero. And then the requirements are you can have a tier one micro home. At least four tiles are required to start. Foundation, basements, and decks all count towards the total tile count. So you have to make it 32 or less tiles. There's tier two tiny home, which is 64 tiles max, or the tier three small home, which is 100 tiles max. So this is now becoming like a, like a building challenge, which I think this is so fantastic. So maybe we could try and do like a tier two. Um, and I just wanna show you guys the furniture. So I'm just gonna go like this. We'll do, we'll do a special like build video, but you can see here, I've already used 70 out of the 100 tiles. So it is a challenge. And then if I were to put a foundation over here, that's going to count more. If I was going to go up a level and build another room, uh, that's also going to count more. So you got to be careful with what you're building. <laughs> so we are definitely going to have a lot of fun with that. Uh, no new wall or flooring. We do have a new door here. Ooh, very modern, very chic. And again, we're going with a mid-century modern vibe. So we do have the new tiny home door. We also have a growing up vertical mini garden. Oh, that is very cute. Oh, it looks really good sized up too. It's definitely really now. Uh, there's no new roof decor, spandrels, fencing, gates, or fountain objects. I'm just gonna use some Moschino pack factory windows because they're one of my faves and some cats and dogs floorboards in here too. And let's check out the goods. Ooh, okay, I don't know where to start. I'm so excited. Okay, so obviously we have the Murphy bed and it comes with an easy to follow template for building effectively and accurately to avoid incidents. The company does not take responsibilities for faulty assembly or mismanaged use of upgrades. Ooh, is that how you spell responsibilities? That's a little spelling error, unless you guys spell it with an A. Look at me being a nerd. Okay, so this is the Murphy bed and it comes in some really lovely uh, different colors colorways. Look at these cute paintings. I mean, this is really cute, really simple, different kinds of woods, different little paintings on there. So it's a nice range of swatches, I think. And I'm so glad they put in the black swatch and the white swatch as well. That makes me very happy. And lots of the, the lighter swatches too. And if you don't want this built-in couch, you can also have it uh, blank, which is great because, you know, you might, you might want to keep it neatly tucked away without any furniture in front of it. We have that option. And then we also have the schmooze and snooze. So this is a Murphy bed kit, uh, which has a lot built into it over here. So you can have a bookshelf in here. Let's just get some more money. I wish I could do that in real life. It can be a bedroom, a lounge, and it's got a bookcase. Nice. And then of course there's this one as well, which is like the ultimate Murphy bed living situation with a lot of bookshelf space. And I believe we're gonna be able to put some clutter objects behind this glass, which I love as well. So, oh wow, you can, whoa, whoa, whoa. Are these separate pieces? Oh, okay. So this is like the separate bookshelf piece that snaps really nicely into it. So that's, that's nice. I love this armchair. Yes, oh, nice swatches. Good, we got some neutrals and some bright colors. Okay, <gasps> I love it. This is like so my style of furniture. <laughs> and then we've got uh, a gorgeous dining chair. Really like this, please be plain. Yes, we have a plain one. Okay, we've got uh, the black color as well. They are focusing a lot on the lighter woods, which I'm not complaining about. That makes me happy personally. Um, but I know a few people might be like, oh, I wish there was more wood colors. We're also missing like a really light wood tone, like the Ikea really washed out kind of tone that's in this flooring. If it was me, I would have added that too. But I do like that we have the white and the black. That's good to see. Although we don't have an all plain white, you have to have the yellow. So it would have been good to have all white, all black, always. always always, 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 because that just means it's really versatile for all players. Love this couch. Oh, look at the cushions. That's really cute, isn't it? Really, really cute. Oh, I like this red. Yeah, there's some nice colors here. Although I'm not seeing this rosy colored uh, couch color 
much. Although you could put the white with that. Uh, we have a tiny console for tiny living. So this could be a little desk, uh, probably with a new update TVs can go on here. Really, really handy, really, really nice. It's just like your handy little table you can kind of shove in the corner. This is great. This is the modern poof. And I love the texture on this. Oh my gosh, that's like my rug at home. I love that texture. Wow, they're being really experimental with these knitted textures. Another little side table here. Again, plain white and black is a good thing. We've got this coffee table, which I really, really like. I would have liked this in a, like a bigger version, but of course that doesn't make sense for tiny living. <laughs> but I would have liked uh, this sized up, you know, to like this size, but not so it looks like oversized out of scale. Maybe in a future pack, that would be nice. Oh, so this is a tiny desk uh, that matches the tiny side table as well. Ooh, an open shelf, which which has like a few kitchen things on it. Really nice. It'd be nice to get in the habit of having shelves where the objects change a little bit. So you could put two next to each other in the same colorway that have the clutter differently placed. Ooh, high dining. This is really good for tiny living. This reminds me of like West Elm tables. Super nice. And of course, uh, this bench chair that we just had before will go really nicely with that. Okay, we got a bathroom vanity. That's very nice, very compact, love. Oh yes, we have a black basin. <gasps> Yay! I want more black basins. I love black basins. Awesome. Damn it, I wish that basin was with the lighter wood too. <laughs> love it. Why do we keep getting toilets? My gosh. <laughs> We have so many toilets in the game, but this toilet's cool because it's actually quite different. Like this, this looks like a more sustainable looking toilet. I don't know why, but I actually quite like that one. And then we've got some beautiful pictures here. Super nice. It kind of gives that vibe of cozy <gasps> cupcakes. These are really nice and a bit of nature. So this is quite a, quite a good selection of different pictures. They definitely all have different vibes, but definitely going with that really cozy theme. Love this mirror because it's a different shape to the other mirrors that we have. I'm gonna put it on the outside here. It's very high up on the wall. Why is that? Why is it so high? Is that my Sim even be able to see themselves? I mean, guess he can just see his face, but that seems like it's way too high up on the wall. And since you can't lower or lift mirrors, I, um, I think they actually need to patch and fix that because to me, that looks bizarre, but maybe that's just my eyes. I don't know. So this is really cute. Uh, some nice uh, bed linen there. Very sweet, nice colors. Ooh, there's that color that I really like again. Glad to see that. Ooh, I like that. Love me some neutrals. But yeah, that seems really sweet. <gasps> rug! Okay, this rug looks nice. Neutral again with that. Yes, there's that color again. I love that color. Oh, that's nice too. That's quite a quite a different look and feel. Very cute. Very nice. Put that rug there. Then we've got what looks like another bathroom shelf. Very nice. Very nice. And then we've got this lamp here, which um quite a statement piece for a tiny home. Uh, like that's a big lamp for tiny living, but I like it a lot. And then we're moving on to some of the TV units. So we've got this little one. This definitely suits tiny living. It's also got the built-in stereo, I believe. And then there's also this one where you could put this kind of not on a wall necessarily, but have it kind of in the middle of the room. Uh, super nice with the TV built in. That'll be really handy, I think. Good to see plain whites and blacks. Botanical bookends so we can see how this works. Oh. Oh, good, good, good. So it doesn't fit on this shelf over here, but it definitely can be tucked into here, which is really nice to see. Nice little bookends, clutter items, the power tower bookcase, which is actually on the side of this. So we've already seen that. A power tower dresser, so a nice compact dresser, which is really handy for those smaller, tiny homes. And this is like a, a cubby dresser, so you can use it as a vanity. Maybe the mirror was made to go on top of this. Oh, there we go. So maybe they lifted it up a bit so you can like put it above this dresser. But I still think it should have been a little bit lower. Then we've got my kind of zen, not just a decoration tray. Ooh, fits in there very nicely. Then we're coming to the end here. We've got a very nice lamp. Love this lamp. This kind of reminds me of Ikea a little bit. Really, really sweet. 
And then we've got some really nice uh, light fixtures, which are more small and compact for your tiny living. They come in lots of bright, beautiful colors. I do like the color swatches. Uh, and then of course you have them in a few different sizes. If you are in a more high ceilinged tiny home, you can kind of have this longer one or the smaller ones. So I think for a stuff pack, I mean, I'm not counting all the items, but I feel like this seems pretty, pretty solid in terms of what you get in it. And also the fact that you have the new challenge building square option is really, really good. And what's this tiny residential venue lot rewards by Tia? Oh, okay. So tier three, which is the smallest, using less space means using less energy, which means lower bills. So you'll have lower bills and happy inspired and focus buffs last twice as long. Well, that's good. Tier two, tier three is the bigger of the tiny homes. Tier two also has skills increase at double the standard rate. That is very handy. Uh, everything is twice as comfortable. Really nice. And what does tier one introduce? Let's all get along. All relationship gains are doubled, I guess, because you're so like close. And plants grow twice as fast as normal. So you can make like a tier one micro home, very sustainable. All of your plants are going to grow really nice and quickly. But this looks really, really cool. I'm, I'm really happy with this pack. I think a lot of people are gonna say, oh, the furniture looks the same as other packs, but as a player, me personally, I like this kind of thing. This is a stuff pack that I'd wanna buy because this is my aesthetic, I like it. And I also just wanna see how the Murphy bed works. So let's go over to here, uh, upgrade, reinforce spring wiring. Maybe that means that uh, you're not gonna get trapped as easily. Let's see, let's sit on the bed. Okay, so that's just our sim, uh, Tony Tiny, sitting there, ha ha ha. And now let's put the bed down and watch this animation. Okay. Stop. Ooh, uh-oh, oh noes, oh dear, uh-oh, uh-oh, oh noes. Okay, that didn't work so well. Maybe it's like a, you know, maybe you have to upgrade it, or maybe, I don't know if Sims with a higher handiness skill will get the bed down more easily. But that is cool. That is really, really cool. And there is self woohoo here because I have a have a mod, so just ignore that. So very nice. So it says here stuck under bed. Ouch, that was super scary. What if you were trapped there forever? What body part would you have to soar off to get free? Or second thought, don't answer that. So let's try and put the bed down again. I wanna see if we can die. Oh, he's using his TV. Favu. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it looks like if you have this buff, and you do it again too quickly. He's crushed to death? Only on the second go? Oh my gosh, that happened so quickly. This is awesome. Oh, wow. This is the most innocent yet deadly looking back. <laughs> I should not be laughing, but I love that my Sim just died by the bed. That's fantastic and so easy. Usually it's so hard to kill Sims. This is great. Just snap up your neighbors a couple of times. Easiest way to kill off a Sim to get their money, you know? Oh, poor little turny tiny. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think of this pack. Uh, I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll speak to you soon. Dog, dog. Mm.